had a program, also an NSF funded, called Picturing to Learn, where we asked students to draw various phenomena that they were learning about. Draw, make a drawing as if you were explaining it to a high school student. And we have 2,000 drawings in our, in our library. The, the wonderful part of this, and this is again trying to get these conversations continue on campus. Ultimately, most of the drawings were metaphor. Most drawings are metaphor. The question is, eventually the metaphor falls apart. How interesting that was to have that kind of conversation with the students. Where does the metaphor, where does the metaphor fall apart? Um, what's missing in the metaphor? What is missing in this approach to, to depicting some, something like Brownie in motion, for example. We had a number of drawings or particle in a box, which are really very interesting. But uh, what I'm getting at is this, this is a place for us to talk about the scientific phenomena by having students draw and eventually we had them draw together and we had some amazing conversations taking place. We even had science students from MIT work with graphic students, having them work together on depicting various phenomena and both of them, they were teaching each other. The science students were teaching the the graphic students about the science and the graphic students were talking to the science students about visual communication. That's the kind of stuff that I think should be happening all over the country. So in the project, what really was very exciting is that in the, in the drawings, we saw the students' misconceptions, what they didn't get. And this was unbelievably valuable to the faculty in fact, Don Sadoway changed his lectures because of a certain error that kept coming up in the drawings. We we're very lucky to have Don be part of Picturing to Learn. So it was, it's not just a trivial issue of having somebody draw something. You can, you can get information about what it is that they're not getting. That was a very exciting part of the program. The idea of bringing people together on a team, for example, at a table and having them draw together various ideas that they're working on could be a very valuable way of seeing where, for example, they're not on the same page. You would be surprised when you, you see that people are not necessarily thinking about the same things in the same way when you ask them to visually represent their ideas. It could be very valuable in, with, with various teams in industry and, and getting, the, getting them, frankly, to talk to the supervisors. And, you know, it, it, it's, a, it's a way of clarification of your own ideas and the, the need to express it to someone else forces you to figure out what in the world you're saying.